Today I'm going to add tides to my mud skipper tank. Mud skippers usually live in areas where rivers meet oceans, and the tides in these areas impact their behavior in multiple ways. Tides help mud skippers be less stressed, which means that they'll be less aggressive with each other and they'll also be more resistant to sickness. Uh, tides also interact with the mud in the tank in order to provide filtration, uh, which means I won't need any traditional aquarium filter in the whole setup. The two main components of this system are this peristaltic pump and this Arduino. This peristaltic pump is able to pump water in either direction using just this DC motor. Uh, and the Arduino has a real-time clock chip that will control the pump based on the time of day. Uh, so now I'm going to solder the circuit that's needed in order for this to control this. So now I've got this circuit which connects the Arduino to the pump. It's even got a couple of buttons that I can press in order to manually drain or fill the tank for maintenance. I'll need to drill one hole in my tank to connect to the pump. There are plenty of other videos on YouTube about how to drill a hole in glass, so I won't get too into it. The most important thing to check first is that the glass is not tempered. For my tank, only the two side panels are not tempered. I practiced on a smaller tank first, which I'm glad I did because, well, shit. <laughs> I realized it's actually much easier with a bigger tank because the glass will have more structure to hold itself together through the pressure of the drill. I also drilled a hole in this plastic tub which I'm using as a sump. It holds the extra water during low tide. I want the tides to transition from high to low twice every day. This roughly matches these tidal patterns from Malaysia. I've programmed the Arduino to control the pump at certain times of the day in order to somewhat match this tidal schedule. Now let's see the results. All right, it's 9.59, so one of these chips in here that has the real time is going to figure out that it's 10 o'clock in a minute here. This pump is going to turn on, and then this tank is going to fill up with the water from the sump. There it goes. And the water's gonna start coming up through the tube here into the tank. Keep the pump going. It's gonna take about 15 minutes. And by the end of that 15 minutes, you can kind of see where the water's been. There's this line of debris that gets stuck on the glass so that's that's how deep the water is going to be all the way covering all the mud even at the high side all right it's 10 14 so once again in just a minute here at 10 15 it's going to stop itself automatically uh you can see here tank is getting pretty full Importantly, there's a few places for them to be up above the water. They can get up on this fake mangrove root. They can get up on the spider wood in a couple of places. Uh, and then the water level at the very top is not particularly deep, so they can hang out there as well and still be out of the water if they like. Or maybe once these mangroves are a bit more solid, they can climb up on there too, who knows. Um, yeah, and you can see actually my sump is just about out of water, so I'm blowing some bubbles up the tube and that's showing up and disturbing the water, but it's going to stop in just a minute. Uh, so it's timed to be just about how long it needs to go in order to drain the sump basically and fill the tank to this amount. All right, I, uh, in that last clip, I had some electrical issues. Uh, still have some kinks to work out. I, I basically nudged something in the pump and it made the clock lose track of time. Um, so anyway, I'll fix that. But it, it has been working before where it stops at the right time and this is about the level. Uh, this water's particularly murky because I did a little bit of a water change so it disturbed it a bit, but Anyway, this is what it looks like at, full, at a high tide, rather, and uh, yeah, that's it. So I had a good time putting all this together. I have a background in computer engineering, that's my degree, and I'm a software engineer as my career, so this kind of stuff is right up my alley. Uh, I will say most people kind of 
take a more simple approach for this. They they have uh, usually there'd be two lines going into your tank and two pumps. One of them drains, the other one fills, and then there's two separate timers, so you can just do it that way. Um, that's the simplest way to do it. But uh, you know, I had an extra Arduino laying around from college and. I wanted to do something fun, so I soldered together a circuit, connected some chips, used some libraries, wrote some code, you know, had fun with it. So, and I'm happy how it turned out. So that's good. Um, yeah. So the next video that I'll be doing is once I actually get my mud skippers, uh, once the tank is cycled and everything's ready to go, um, I'll get the mud skippers. I'll, you know, have them acclimated a bit. I'll, I'll figure out exactly how I want to feed them everything like that and I'll put a video together kind of showing the whole enclosure here's my mud skippers here's how I take care of them all that good stuff and it'll kind of be a, a capstone on the project of putting together this habitat and getting mud skippers so looking forward to that so if you want to see that subscribe and uh, you know shouldn't be too long and I'll post that video and it'll be a good time so anyway appreciate it take care